Welcome back newbies. This is the Hive Doctor, your beekeeping mentor. It's my job to take the guesswork out of beekeeping for you. It's time to talk tools of the trade. And in this video today, we're gonna to cover hive tools. So the hive tool is going to be one of two main tools that you're going to use as a beekeeper. This thing's always going to be in your hand or in your back pocket. There are so many different variations on hive tools. When you get your own catalogs in the mail, what you're going to see is there's probably 10 different styles of this thing. Uh, some of them are basic like this one. This is probably the most basic one that you could get. And you've got some that look like a Swiss Army knife. They've got so many different tools on them. And I haven't used them all myself. In fact, I've used maybe four different types. But I have narrowed it down through the years to my two favorite. And they both have their purpose. So I keep them around. Um, I'm going to start with the most basic one. This is pretty much a pry bar for a beekeeper. It consists of two ends. One is a flat bar, very sharp. This end is for prying boxes apart because bees will propolize those together and there's no amount of muscles gonna get those apart. You've gotta have something like this. You need that leverage. And the other end has got a hook on it. And this is for also using on frames. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Um, but that's all there is to it. Now, a hive tool has three primary purposes. For prying things loose, boxes and frames, like we just said. Uh, also for cleaning equipment, like you use this to scrape uh, beeswax and propolis that have built up over the years and months, whatever. So like every winter, I will take the unused equipment, in other words, equipment that no longer has bees in it, or honey supers that you shouldn't have on your beehives in the winter anyways, and I will scrape all the edges and the top bars and the bottom bars and clean it up so that next spring when it's time to use them, they'll be ready to go. Um, when it comes to working in the hive, this will do the job just fine, but my favorite tool is this one. This is an Italian style hive tool. Now you notice it's much longer than this one and thinner in profile. And that's why I like working with this one in the hive because when it comes to prying frames apart, this gives you more leverage and it makes it much easier to remove those frames. It still has a flat bar end so that you can pry boxes apart and frames, but the other end is nothing like this one here. It's got a small little hook and I'll show you how to use that as well. It's perfect for lifting frames up out of the way with very little effort. So this is, this is my favorite. I only have one when it comes to beekeeping, I don't know what it is, but the hive tool is going to be the thing that you lose the most. So when you uh, order a hive tool for yourself, get several of them. They used to come in three packs where I got them. So I have yet to lose any of those, so I'm doing pretty good. So we're going to, close, we're going to do a close-up on a box so I can show you, show you exactly how these work. So starting with this basic hive tool here. We use it to pop frames loose from one another, kind of like this. Now these frames aren't stuck together, but we're gonna pretend that they are. Um, this, this part here is gonna be propolized. The top bar, the ear of the top bar is gonna be propolized to the frame rest. So we always pry on the end of the bar rather than in the middle of it. And if you're gonna use this end to pop things loose, you just do it kind of like that, and then it's done. But sometimes it's, these frames are really, really stuck together. So that's where this comes in amazing, uh, amazingly. Uh, it's just as simple as that. A very small movement, and these things are apart. So you do that on one end, then you go to the other end and do that, and that frame is loose. Then you're ready to pry it up. And usually you do it by getting the frame getting your hand ready to get the frame as it comes up. Now I grab it 
Now I've got that ear, and then I can take this hive tool and do the same thing on the other side. And once that end is up, I can lift the frame up and out. Now when it comes to the other hive tool, the Italian style, it's pretty much the same thing, but I will use it like this. But this little hook is actually made to go right here. So I'm going to try to pretend these are stuck together. You work this in there, that hook goes underneath the, the ear of the frame. I can even let this go to show you that, you know, it's in there, it's, it's stuck. And then you come down on it and this J hook brings the frame up perfectly. You just have to be careful so that you do it slowly so the bottom of this end bar doesn't squash any bees against the inside of the, 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 the box. But one place that this tool is not very good at is when it comes to scraping the edges of you know, cleaning boxes and frames and equipment. It's just not that great. So this is a, what I consider an in-hive hive tool, you know, work that you're doing in the hive. But this one, this is great for cleaning because you've got this nice broad blade on the end, much more broad than that one. So you've got good scraping ability, plus you can flip it over and pull as well. And uh, cleans things right up. Sometimes bees will really propolize something together and just goober up a box. And it's nice to have clean equipment in the spring to be able to uh, put back on your bees. As always, thank you for watching. My newbies, my apprentices, don't forget to drop me one of these. Check the description and the links below for the tools and equipment and gear that I use. And don't forget to subscribe.